how to experience the self. In the contract, in the covenant, the bris that we have with Hashem, in the give and take relationship with Hashem, Hashem is the party of the first part to the contract. We, the Jewish people, you and I, individually and collectively, we are the party of the second part of this contract, this covenant. And in contract law, and having practiced law in Toronto for six years, contract law means that each party must be identified, must be identifiable in order to have a viable and valid contract. We can't understand Hashem, but we know what Hashem has done in the world. He's the party of the first part. We are the party of the second part. How do we experience the self? How do we get to know ourselves? The Talmud tells us how. In Shabbos, Kuflam, and Gimel, and Beis, page 133b, the Gemara says the following. Titania, we learn in a Brisa. Ze keli ve'anvehu. This is my God, and I will glorify him. The word anvehu comes from the word nave, which means to beautify. I will beautify God. I will glorify God. I will enhance God. Ze keli ve'anvehu. This is the words that Moshe Rabbeinu and the Jewish people sang when they crossed the sea. They saw God's divine providence as he split the sea for the Jewish people. And they said, this is my God. I see God's hand in my life. I have a relationship with God. This is my God. Ze keli, this is my God. Ve'anveyo, and I will beautify him. How do you beautify God? How do you glorify God? Abba Shaul Onir, the Gemara says. Abba Shaul says, Ve'anveyu heve dome lo. Be like God. Resemble God. Emulate God. Mahu chanun verachum. As God is merciful and empathic and nurturing and sensitive. Af ataheye chanun verachum. You too must be chanun verachum, empathic and merciful and compassionate. Emulate God. Imitatio dei. Become like God. Act like God. And that, in fact, is the purpose of life. The purpose of life is to become as godlike as possible, to develop ourselves, to become godlike, to follow in God's ways, to act like God, to walk in his pathway. Rashi comments on that Gemara and says, the word anvehu, unbelievable. The word anvehu is made up of two words, ani vehu, I and him. How do you glorify God? Ani, God, vehu, and be like him. Or, ani vuhu, I should be like him. Ve anvehu. Ani vuhu, anvehu. I and him. I must be like him. The word anvehu means that I must emulate God. In itself, the word is made up of two words. Ani vuhu, me and God. We are in a partnership. We are in a contract. We are in a covenant. We must act like God. Ani vuhu, I must be like him. The altar of Slabotka in the Sefer Orat Safun, and Ma'amar HaKochos HaElokim Sheva Adam teaches that our life mission is, and get these words clearly, please, they are Lihisdamot Lekonoi. Lihisdamos Lekono means to be Dome Lekono, to be like God, to emulate God, to resemble God. Lihisdamot Lekono. To resemble God. As God is merciful and compassionate and holy, so too we must act with compassion mercy, and holiness. In this way, we become close to God by resembling God. How do you get close to Hashem? What is this thing called a relationship with God? It's by using the midos, the characteristics, the attributes that God has instilled in you and using them to resemble Him. In that way, we use our free will to bring godliness into the world and to bring God in the world. God does not want to remain in heaven. He wants to be here. Hashamayim shamayim lashem ve'aretz nasan livdei adam. He gave the world to us. Why? To bring him into the world. God does not want to remain on the doorpost. He wants to be brought into the room, into the home. Not just kiss the mezuzah and leave it, and leave God on the doorpost, and then be angry and complain and be negative. Rather, bring God, see godliness in the mezuzah. Hashem alokino shem echad, and then see the godliness in the people in the room. To bring God into the room. Not to leave him on the doorpost, not to kiss the mezuzah and forget about God, but to bring godliness into the room, into your family, to see God, 
to see godliness, to praise, to validate, to see the godliness and the goodliness in your wife, your husband, your children. When we do this, when we become aware that we have godliness within ourselves, we have an ashama, a soul within ourselves. A soul is an attribute, is a dimension of God, is a breath of consciousness of God's, God's consciousness that he breathed into us. And that dimension that we have within us is our midos, tovos, our characteristics, our good characteristics. We are, we are chanun, compassion. Chanun, rachum. Chanun is empathy. Rachum is compassionate. Erech patient. Rav chesed, giving. MS, honesty and integrity. When we use and activate those midos that Hashem instilled in us, that's the basket robins flavor of our soul, and each of our souls is unique. We have, each of us has a unique constellation of midos that God instilled in us. Then that is how we glorify God. And by glorifying God means we actualize ourselves. Actualizing ourselves means serving God. That they're one and the same thing. And therefore Judaism is not a religion. Judaism is a pathway, is a system for personal growth. God wants us to grow by being like Him, by activating, identifying our best midos and being like Him. So we bring God into this world by activating, identifying our midos, our, act, our attributes, and actualizing them by bringing them into the world, and thereby we bring godliness into the world. We grow ourselves, personal growth, and that personal growth is the expansion of godliness within the world. This is the ultimate human achievement. When we activate ourselves, we get much more than self-esteem. What we get is an experience of the self. 